Hey everybody and welcome back. This is going to be uh, part four of my autographed album collection. Um, we're going to be doing a couple of records from L that I missed last time and then we're going to work through uh, the letter R. So the first one is going to be Pokey Lafarge. This was a pre-order that included a signed uh, postcard and I've only recently discovered Pokey in the last year or two, but I really like his music. Very interesting. I hope to see him live someday. And then this also included a uh, bonus 7-inch. And then we have another Pokey Lafarge, and this was a pre-order also that was signed by Pokey. And this is on color vinyl. Now, a lot of these records I got in person, I had signed in person, or I had signed through the mail. Um, back in the late 90s, I was part of an autograph group online. We would share success stories and addresses for people who uh, were good at signing through the mail. And so some of those I got signed that way. I used to own a, a used record store for 11 years, from 97 to 2008. And often people would bring in a box of records to sell and there might be something in there that was signed. I would always pull those out and bring them home. Um, I did get a collection of records from uh, a Seattle disc jockey, Gary Crow, Mike West. They were a pair of uh, DJs. Some of my stuff was from their collection. Um, so that's, that's how I got them. And sometimes I would just go to you know, a record convention or record show and flip through the boxes and see something signed, uh, which is how I got this Al Martino. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't own any of his records. But that's signed by Al. The next two I sent through the mail, and uh, I asked Steve Martin, I said, if you would be kind enough to sign both sides of this record, and he did. So this way I can display either side of it. And then I also sent him this record, which he also signed on both sides for me. So that's pretty cool. I appreciated that. And uh, I would always include uh, money for return postage. This is an example of one that came into the store. Bobby McFerrin. This is one I have no idea where I got it. It may have picked it up at a record show. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't recall. But Ronnie Millsap. Oh, no. I can see right here. I got it at Half Price Books. Signed copy, $3.98. Okay, and uh, if any of you saw my interview with Jerry Miller, guitarist from Obi Grape, it's probably no surprise that I have quite a few items signed by Jerry. This is a Sunday reissue that uh, Jerry signed the poster. This is one that when he saw it, he says, I've never seen this record. <laughs> I think this came out in 2012. Legendary Grape. It's probably a pirate or a bootleg of some sort. And then we have Live Grape. And then we have Live Moby Grape. No idea where I got this one. Melba Moore. Or this one. 
I always see her records everywhere I go. I never buy them, but this one was signed. So I picked this up. This was a uh, item I ordered directly from Michael Nesmith's website. And Michael also signed this one for me, as well as a, uh, a photograph that he sent along, which uh, I will show my photographs and uh, other signatures that are not on albums in a, in a future video. This one was in person. Uh, we went to see Randy Newman in Tacoma and we were waiting outside and it was my wife and I and there was nobody else waiting and the guy came to the door and said, can I help you people? And we said, we're just waiting for Randy to come out to get a signature. And the guy said, well, hang on a minute. And he went inside, came back out and he says, come on in. So he took us backstage and there was like a whole reception with food and drinks and Randy was just, you know, talking with everybody and I went up and introduced myself. Turns out we had the same birthday. He did invite me to his place in L.A. He said, you're ever in L.A., you look me up. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, sure. But anyways, he signed this record for me, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm a big Randy Newman fan. No idea where I got this one, but I know I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. This one uh, was through the mail. Uh, I sent an album and a 45 picture sleeve and she was nice enough to sign each one and send them back. This one was part of the Gary Crow, Mike West collection, the Seattle DJs. This one was in person. Willie, uh, after the show, went out to his bus and he stood there and signed for every single person who was in line. And he didn't stop until everyone had a picture and or a signature. Very nice guy. Odetta sings Dylan. This one, uh, a friend of mine was going to see Odetta and I asked her if she would take this album and see if she could get it signed and and uh, as you can see she did so I appreciate that this one I have no idea where I picked it up can't remember Tommy Overstreet looks like it was signed in 1983 nice inscription and he also signed a photograph which I had found inside the album This next one is signed by a whole bunch of the Buckaroos, signed by uh, Susan Ray, Willie Cantu, Tom Brumley, and Doyle Holly. And there's another signature here that I can't make out. I have no idea who it is, but it, it's not Buck Owens. So it looks to me like um, the Buckaroos signed it, but Buck did not sign it. I don't see his signature anywhere on here which is a shame, but oh well. And then the next one here is by one of my uh, favorite songwriters. He's done a couple of house concerts for us and played here uh, in the house, and that's Rod Picot, just a great songwriter, great writer overall. He writes novels. Um, check him out on YouTube. He's got a lot of great songs. He's uh, based out of Nashville. This is another one that came from the Gary Crow collection. Joe Piscopo. You can see it says there to uh, Gary Crow. The big story in Seattle. Another one of my favorite artists that I see every time he comes to town if I can. And that would be Chuck Prophet out of San Francisco. Chuck's a great songwriter, a great performer. I highly recommend you check out his music. 
And then we have Boots Randolph. The, let's see, where is it? Right there on the back. I believe I picked this up at a Seattle record show, if memory serves me. This one is another one that I picked up at Half Price Books. I have no way to authenticate it, but it certainly looks legitimate if you compare it to other signatures I've seen. No idea where this one came from. Probably came into my store, but uh, Riley and Maloney. Another one of my favorite singers. Uh, and again, I anytime he's in town, I go to see him. I've seen him probably eight or nine times already. And that's Jonathan Richmond. got an interesting signature this one I got through the mail back probably around 99 most of the mail autographs were around 99 no idea where this one came from but it looks like it's signed by a bunch of the Rippingtons. If you look at the end of the sleeve. Got this one signed in person. And I must say, he hasn't lost a thing. He's still a fantastic performer. Great voice. If you get a chance to see Johnny Rivers, by all means, go. Looks like this one was signed in 2017. No idea where this one came from. But it's signed on the back by Hal Roach. And then the last two we have. And I believe this one came into the store. No, no, this was uh, from the Seattle Record Show, and I can tell because there's a sticker on the back. But it's signed by Roy Rogers and Trigger. <laughs> Trigger, of course, being Roy Rogers' horse. And it looks like I paid $3 for it. And then the last one is another one that uh, was signed in person. Uh, we went to see him at a small venue in Seattle, and my wife and I went for uh, dinner before the show, and we ended up sitting at a table right next to Leon Russell, and I had already brought some albums and asked him if he would sign them, and he, he said sure. He was very nice, took some photos with me, and uh, Leon's one of my favorite artists. I love everything he's done. I would say my favorite album of his would be A Sign the Choir 2. So I have a couple of uh, things signed by Leon. So that's uh, the part four. And that takes us through R. The next uh, segment I do will be uh, starting with S. And we'll see how far we go with that. So uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would. And uh, until next time, ciao.